2017 Honda Civic Type are better than expected, if you don't mind looking at it. The hottest Hondas offered to Americans often were an Acura badge, including the NSX Supercar and the old e Goody Integra Type R, but with Ford's Wild Focus RS joining the Subaru WRX STI and the Volkswagen Golf R in the United States. The time has come for Honda to finally introduce a machine here that wears its vaunted scarlet H emblem. The 2017 Civic Type R, while we've endured a long 20 years of seeing its predecessors rack up accolades on foreign, tarmac, this scaldingly hot hatch was worth the wait. We knew the 2017 Type R was good from our first experience on the list 10 perfect roads of Quebec, Canada. Here, though, are the headline facts from this instrumented test, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds, 1.02 g of lateral grip, and the ability to stop from 70 miles per hour in a Porsche like 142 feet in a tweaked, front wheel drive commuter car with 61.8% of its 3,111 pounds resting on the front wheels. So, yeah, extremely solid, a domesticated heathen. What sets this Honda apart from other sport compacts is how it balances speed, body control, and outright cornering prowess with the day-to-day -day ride comfort that you would never expect, given its rubber band-like 30 series tires. Indeed, those 245-30ZR20 Continental Sport Contact 6 performance treads offer seemingly no cushion for the spindly 20-inch aluminum wheels, and they're pricey at $320 a pop. Yet, despite having significantly stiffer springs, dampers, bushings, and anti-roll bars than even the new Civic C, the Type R Traverse's pockmarked pavement better than nearly any other car with this much stick, even with its driving modes Electra in its full attack plus R setting which slightly weights, up the steering over the lesser sport and comfort modes and puts the thrip position adaptive, dampers in their firmest tune the ride is fully livable, combined with a high level of standard amenities and wonderfully comfortable and supportive, sport seats, available in red cloth only, there's little compromise to having a Type R as your sole mode of transport. Transport. This being the age of the turbocharger, we won't dwell on this hot Honda's lack of a spinning naturally aspirated engine, the R's boosted too. Zero liter inline F4 sounds like a steroid enhanced vacuum cleaner at high RPM and is a bit too quiet overall. But it is a super smooth powerhouse, churning out a stout 306 horsepower and 295 lbft of torque and ripping to its modest 7000 RPMs, redline with zeal. Lots of neat chirps and whooshes can be heard from the big snail under the hood, and the Trick 3 outlet exhaust keeps droning and booming sounds to a minimum, even though short final gearing has the engine turning 3500 RPMs at 75 miles per hour in top gear. We bettered the car's 22 mpg city rating by 1 mpg in our overall driving and surpassed its 28 mpg highway figure by the same margin on our 75 miles per hour highway test loop. The aluminum shift ball atop the Type R standard 6-speed manual transaxle is a close reach. From the leather-wrapped steering wheel, it is as rewarding to snake through the shifter's gates as it is easy to burn your hand on after the car has been sitting outside on a sunny day, but working up a sweat driving this car is unnecessary. The engine's thrust quickly builds low in the power band. Cleverly tuned rev matching software can remove the driver from the heel and toe shifting loop. And the Type R's dual axis strut front, suspension Honda's take on Ford's Revo knuckle and GM's hipper strut almost magically eliminates torque steer when you're pointed straight ahead. Built to run all this civility should in no way suggest that the Type R cannot hustle. The engine's computer lets it rev freely to only 3500 RPMs, making the optimal launch the result of carefully modulating the clutch and throttle to avoid bogging. Get it right and you'll be running at a 108 miles per hour clip when the quarter mil flashes by after 13.5 seconds. That makes the Type R easily the quickest front driver we've ever tested and just a couple ticks slower than most of its more expensive, all-wheel drift competition, and none of its rivals can shed speed like the Civic can, is 4-piston, 13, 8-inch Brembo front brakes and upgraded 12, 0-inch rear stoppers biting hard via a firm if longish triple brake pedal. On the road, the Civic Type R blasted down our favorite twill lanes with precision and nearly unflappable composure.
The sharp and moderately tactile helm makes it easy to probe the car's huge grip limits. Driven hard into a corner, the air rotates smartly yet never abruptly so, with a helical limited slip differential yanking it out of bends with only a slight tug at the steering wheel. It may lack a drift mode or Rallybird AWD system, but this feels every bit the quickest front-drive production car to lap the end. Burgering. Yo DAWG, we put spoilers on your spoilers, helping the Type R team that record pace are its many external vents, fins, and protruding air manipulators, including a massive wing perch just above the driver's rearward line of sight. Most of these elements may be functional, but the visual effect is obnoxiously juvenile on the road. If a car could run on a slurry of Mountain Dew and Toritos, it would be this thing, and you had better like red because, along with the vibrant seats, the color graces the Type R's four seatbelts, some trim pieces on the dash, part of the leather on the steering wheel, the Type R, specific 7, 0-inch Galvi cluster display, and the exterior's accent stripes and our badges, the latest Civic 7. 0-inch capacitive touch infotainment system is another bane of living with a Type R, although it becomes less of an issue once you learn the convoluted menu layout and configure a few primary settings. The rest of the R is familiar from the everyday Civic Sport that beat out the hatchback Chevrolet, Cruze, Mazda 3, and VW Golf in our latest compact thatchback comparison test. There's also 26 cubic feet of cargo space behind the 60-40 split folding rear seat and 46 cubes, with it stowed. Available only in the Civic's to Evil Touring trim, the Type R has no options other than paint color, and it comes well equipped with LED headlights, dual zone automatic climate control, navigation, a 540 watt premium stereo, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, designed from the start for the United States market, though sold globally. The 2017 Civic Type R slots nicely into our vehicular landscape. It's $34.775 asking price is considerably more than those of lesser front-drive sport compacts such as the Ford Focus Street, the VW GTI, and Honda's equally new Civic C, yet the Type R is thousands less than its AWD performance peers, even with its Foston Furious styling that looks ready to sprout a mohawk in traffic, this thoroughbred Civic is the hardcore hot hatch we've been waiting for.